hello welcome to my channel and today we'll see spring profiles why spring profiles are required and what are the advantages and how to create this spring profiles in spring boot project so first what is spring profile so spring boot profile provides a way to manage and separate application configuration for different environment so for example your spring boot application is running in different environments like the development testing staging and production so in this case if you want to manage environment specific properties to your project here spring profile is best suitable for that one example this is application it is running multiple environment like dev qa and production so if you want to pass this application related properties there is a profile you need to use you, using the annotation profile so it will pass application dot dev properties if you are running in the application into the dev environment this application is running in QA, it will pass to the application icon QA dot properties file to this application. And if it is running in production, it will run application icon production dot properties. So how it will pass at the runtime? We'll create one Spring Boot application and we'll see in the demo session how to pass these details. So if you see why Spring Boot profiles are used, one is for environment specific configuration. So we can pass the properties file as for the environment where you are application is running development or testing or production okay so another one is it simplifies the configuration management so how it is simplifies it will keep the environment specific configuration in separate files making it easier to manage and maintain the configurations without changing the core application code so in this case you no need to do the any changes in your application just we need to keep the environment specific configuration in the separate files Another one is flexibility and control. By using Spring Profile, you can easily switch between the different configurations without modifying the code base. So you no need to modify a code base, although same code you can able to run in the multiple environment. So this flexibility is crucial when uh, deploying application into the different environment. Once your application is deployed in the dev environment, so, so it will automatically pick the dev properties. If it is deployed in the QA, it will pick the QA automatically how it will pick we'll see there is a multiple ways to enable the spring profile also in the spring boot application this we'll see in this demo application today another one is a security so how it is helpful in the security for example database configuration you are providing to the application dot properties right so in this case uh, this tends to information like the database credentials and the api case we are keeping in a separate file based on the environment specific okay so if your application is running in the dev environment also it will pick only the dev if there is no conflict to taking the yeah, qa environment uh, configuration files or production environment configuration file like that you can provide the security for your application related to the properties file so reduce the risk of environment for example if we are using only one application dot properties in this case if you are running the application in the different environment there is a chance of mismatching the properties so by mistake if you are using the production related configuration properties then there is a issue on data is also mismatch unnecessary and the production data is also impact on this so in this case you can able to reduce the risk of your application using the configurations related to specific environment okay so these are all the main reasons why we need to use spring profiles so now We'll see demo on this one. You need to create the Spring Boot application. So we need to use the dependencies like a web and MySQL connectors. And another one is Lombok. So with this, I'm creating that uh, project. And after that, you need to export this project into the IntelliJ ID. So already I exported in IntelliJ ID. If you see here, this is my project. So in this project, so in this project, 
I have created one class that is desert source configuration and I have created three different environment specific properties file if you see this dev this is the application iphone dev dot properties this is application iphone production dot properties this is application iphone test dot properties okay so for example if i remote application text and production i'm keeping only dev properties file and we'll see how this spring boot application will pick this application iphone dev dot properties and how it will start this spring boot application so whenever you start this Spring Boot application, it will read this file and it will uh, start the application. So to enable this application, to read this application, I want dev dot properties. On what on we need to add entry into the application dot properties, which equal to dev. You need to keep it will pick the application I want dev dot properties file. Okay. So to read this application dot iphone dev dot properties file so i am created one configuration file like data source configuration and here i am accessing the properties from the properties file using the annotation value here url username and password and here i am using the annotation profile so using this annotation bin annotation profile it will read the data from the database using this annotation profile and annotation bin it will create the data source object using this specific environment so here if you see annotation profile i am passing as a dev annotation profile passing as a test annotation profile passing as a product okay now we'll start this application and we'll see how it will uh, read this uh, application properties related to the dev okay so you can go to the spring dot spring file dot application this is the main application in our uh, spring boot application from here and uh, run this spring boot application so because i'm adding this uh, mysql uh, database dependency in the palm.xml file while starting the spring boot application it will uh, check the database connectivity as you see it is writing some hibernate orm logs also so it is trying to connect into the database as well okay so what is the database properties i am passing here in the dev so if you see i am passing the url username password url is the test schema i am using so here is my database here is my test schema is available <coughs> so this connection is working fine so for example if you want to test so it is really reading the properties from the application iphone dev or not so in this case what you need to do you can go to the application dot properties so instead of dev you can change to the test and rerun this application so if it is uh, reading from the test there is no properties in the test so in this case our application will fail to start because at the time of uh, starting the spring boot application it will try to check with the database okay so if you are rerun this application once again see now it is failed so why it is failed now data source data source script database initializer so there is a issue while creating the bin of uh, data source object it is failing so here is the data source configuration so you are unable to identify the url username and password while creating the bin okay so how to fix this one again you can go to the application dot properties instead of for uh, text you can give either dev or you, you can copy uh, these properties whatever available from the dev you can just copy into the text and keep it and uh, one more time you can rerun this application now so now i change database properties from dev mode from dev to text so here now it is able to identify the properties files from the text in text property this one it is able to launch the successfully spring so it is able to launch spring boot application successfully okay so right now for testing purpose i am keeping in the dev properties and the test properties are the same so 
in your uh, real time application uh, these three environment should have the three different uh, configuration uh, file not only the database properties if there are any other application related properties also you can keep this uh, environment specific <laughs> properties file and it will read the dynamically while running the application okay so so this is a one way i am reading the application dot properties properties from this application dot properties file using the test and there are another ways so if you see my medium page so here i am explained how many ways are there to enable uh, profiles in your application so if you see in my medium page so if you want this source code also i'll share you this medium page link to you as well as the git repository link you can just go through this so here is the main reasons why you, we are using the spring boot profile and how to so there are some dependencies we need to add so as of now i am added in the founder xml file if you observe so i am added in web and data jpa uh, and mysql connector and there is one more library it is required to add this plugin into the founder xml file that commons apache commons libraries okay so on the, apart from that if you scroll down So this is application the properties so you can activate the profiles using this one or there is a one more way this is the command line so instead if you don't want to call this uh, thing in the uh, application the properties while running the spring boot application you need to pass this argument so like this it is automatically pick this specific environment related properties file another one is environment variable using this environment variables also you can set this and another one is jvm set system property so using this jvm system property also you can pass this application specific environment properties okay so these are the four four ways to pass this application specific environment files okay. just you can go through this documentation you will get the better idea and try to execute from your system also so this is very important while uh, working with spring boot application i hope this video is helpful for you please like share and subscribe my channel